to the weekly podcast with me and my mum where we talk about everything and anything generally like sewing quilting related my mum likes to talk decorating <laughs> <laughs> i like your top oh thank you i do i like that did you make that yourself mum no no <laughs> All the flowers on. I know it's nice. Yeah. You also, it's like nice. that yourself. You sat down and just hooped it. I know. Yeah. They look like two little eyes. They do, don't they? It's probably what's speaking. It's probably what's speaking. But you need to put eyelashes and Google eyes on them. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> so my love for Google eyes, I tell you, it's honestly. <laughs> Oh, you're going to, oh, right, I know, you're going to love something else and I've started I don't know, is it Thanksgiving in the States or, or what? Yeah, I don't know, it seems to be going on for so long that I don't even know what date the States Thanksgiving actually is. So I'm quite sure if it's this weekend, there probably won't be that many people on watching us, they'll be eating turkey. Why would you want to watch two English women, like, talking a load of rubbish on a podcast? <laughs> when you can eat your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Not advertised that very well, did I? Um, here you go. I'm just setting myself up as well. So this week, so I'll show you the pouch that I made you, Mum. Somebody actually wanted it. Oh, right. Nearly got sold. We shouldn't say I can make you. And I, why don't you make one for, for the person then? It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. The same thing twice. Maybe you can make something, you know, different. It's something else that's different. You know, similar but different. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's, mine. it's mine. It's mine. Yeah, so I got a picture off the internet. And then I, I drew the window. So the picture was basically the, the shutters, the window, and the flowers. And then I did the art drawing in my, in my book. Don't know why I haven't got everything. Well, I've been cleaning my carpet. That's why I haven't been organised. I've been cleaning my carpet today. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a wet back, and I'm having fun. <laughs> It's great, isn't it? I know, it's good. It smells fresh. So that's my drawing. Oh, that's lovely. Well, it doesn't, like, look great. I mean, like, I knew the flowers looked a bit stupid. But at the end of the day, that was just, like, the concept. And then I just like how the thread painting changes everything. Yes, it does, yeah. And then can you see the, um, the felt leaves a bit better now? Yes, yeah, I can, yeah. And yeah. I used them, um, I used a Dern, Derwent um, ink tents um, paints and I used the fabric medium, even though some people use aloe vera. They use aloe vera gel. So I want to oh, yeah. try some aloe vera gel on it and see what happens. And I did this trim because at first I was going to do a two tone pouch, I was going to do a, a, a like, you know, a piece of um, just regular cotton at the top and I'm there like is it going to make you too floppy on the top kind of thing so I thought well instead of doing that I'm going to start adding some trims in because like, I, I like adding trims now yeah no, it's very got that and then way. I did a little dangly thing oh cute I like that I need to stop that from moving about it's got a butterfly, oh, it's got on a butterfly it. isn't it yeah did you see the butterfly on the sequin yes yeah I did yeah it's kind of iridescent, but you can't see it. Yeah, yeah. I had to hand quite, sew them on. It looks quite big, that. What? It's the, the pouch. It is. That's good. I know what I'm going to put in it. Yeah. You could almost get some um, shampoo bottles in there. No, well, I think I might put me um, my tights in. Just keep them together. Well, I've got I like I didn't put um I should have put some of that wipeable stuff inside of it. I didn't think. 
I just put a regular cotton in it. So it's not kind of waterproof. Is that all like that? I love it. I started giggling to myself when I did the cat. <laughs> Have you frozen on me again? Oh, she's frozen. This keeps happening to me just recently where my her internet keeps freezing for some weird reason and she'll come back. Oh, hey. Hi. So, so what did you wait a minute and then it comes back? Well, I, t I told you my phone and put it back again. Oh, so you're doing it. No, it you were going roboty for uh, you know, when you was explaining what you the lining. Yeah, it was, going, it was roboting. So, what have we done with the lining? So the lining was just like a just general cotton fabric. And I didn't put any like do you know, like the white bull oil cloth that I normally use. And I should have done that really. Oh, it's fine. That it's okay. It's good. It's it okay. looks good inside. Yeah. Does it? Is it like this little? What the fuck? It's like wood tins inside of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have done that really. Made some little buntings on the outside of the window and had them going all the way across. That would have been really cute. Oh, yeah, it's really cute inside as well. Oh, that's really pretty, that. And I did a bright yellow zip because you're always going to say, make it bright, make it yellow, make it bright, make it yellow. <laughs> I've got a, like a box for me tights anyway, but do you know that to separate the, the like the natural coloured tights and the uh, the black tights and things like that. So that I think I'll use it for that to keep them all in order. Yeah, that's good. And then I used my Acrylic Go this week. Can you get it out the closet? <laughs> it came out of the closet and my bird is not on yet so like I'm not quite sure she's going to join or anything and it's a shame because I just want to prove to her that I, I got it out and I started using it <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made anything with it because I started making that pouch so I did this oh yeah so basically it's just half square half square triangles and I didn't like this fabric, so I just wanted to use it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was going to be Christmassy themed. Something. So half square, these are half square triangles, half square square, da, da, da. And then I just made this up. I put this two inch, sec I think it's two inch, two inch by two inch section in the middle. And then I just did two inch by, and then left it longer, sewed it on, and then just cut the excess off. And I have one, two, Three, four Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas trees! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? You know, have you got any idea what you're doing with them? I don't know what to do with it just yet. Don't know what to do. I was thinking about doing a um, a table runner, or I thought about I could have them two and two and make like a big kind of placemat. I don't know. And then I thought that would look quite good just as a rug mug, just for your coffee. I mean, it's pretty big. <laughs> big cup. <laughs> How big are your cups? Roberta's here. Hiya, Roberta. Hiya. Roberta just said hi, everybody. She says, put it back in the closet where it was happy. <laughs> Using it, I'm using it. I wanted to prove. I was, I was cutting these pieces of fabric. I'm like, I'm going to prove to Roberta that I use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, how are you, Roberta? What you, what you do? Are you doing something different today? Uh, this week? I want to know what what other projects you picked up. And a lady called Barbara's come on. Are you Barbara? 
Is it how you everybody say hi Roberta? Hi Roberta. <laughs> so is it Thanksgiving for you guys? Because I think I feel like I've been hearing about Thanksgiving for the past like two months. I don't know about you, Mom. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard about it for a little while, yeah. So I'm not quite sure what date the Thanksgiving date is. Oh. I want to say Happy Thanksgiving if it's this weekend. I oh, I'm in Canada. Hi, Barb from Canada. I'm in Canada too. I'm in Edmonton. Oh. What part of Canada is Barbara from? Yeah, what, what part of Canada are you from, Barb? This is a very interactive show at times, because sometimes we don't have anything to talk about, so we get you guys to join. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see what I've done? Yeah, we have Thanksgiving in October in Canada. Yes, we did. So I wanted to know, like, when is Thanksgiving in the States? It's coming, it's approaching, it's very soon. Oh, Mum. <laughs> Mum, that's too funny. <laughs> I want you to change the W though, I don't like the W. Oh, do you not like, I've not cut it out yet. I don't think, it, it looks more like an M. It looks like groom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. And it's supposed to be grow. Yeah, I'll get rid of that then. Well, so what? the best thing to do, right, is draw your W out on a piece of paper with a thick Sharpie or a black um, ink pen and then put your finger over the top so you're using the paper like your pattern, yeah? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's me. Okay. That's, those are my... Uh, <laughs> Them carrots are just brilliant. I love them. That's the that's the piece of paper. I did it. But I like the shoes and the hands. <laughs> <laughs> so Roberta says she's working on a whole cloth quilt that she's been working on three years. So I'm curious, Roberta. I'm, I'm assuming that you just um you do a little bit on each quilt. I'm assuming. So you probably have like 10 quilts on the go and when you get bored with one, you like switch to another one, switch to another one, switch to another one. Um, oh, Roberta says that Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Are you having turkey? Oh. <laughs> My mum never liked turkey. Like, well, we don't, we don't even celebrate Thanksgiving in, in the UK. I don't know why we don't celebrate it, but we just don't. Um, uh, but any time we had Christmas, my mum never got turkey. No, I don't know. I like you lamb. lamb. Didn't you just do yeah. lamb for Christmas? Yeah, lamb, yeah. My mum used to get these great big massive, like she used to save up her money and get these hampers, these meat hampers. Yeah, they were meat yeah. hampers and they were like treat hampers, weren't they, as well? They were really good then. It saved you, you know, it's like, than having to go out and buy it like there and then. It was like you did it over the year. And it was it was really good. But you know, like with having I remember children. you getting the catalogue and like us look, looking through it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't they work out like more expensive? Like I know like there's a, there was a supermarket in the UK called Iceland and they do brilliant like um stuff for like freezer stuff. And like they were always pretty reasonable. And you used to collect the stamps because like that used to be my job as a little girl. I used to put the, <laughs> the pound coins in the in the little machine and the stamps would come out and you'd let me put the stamps in the book. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a good way of saving, not for Christmas and that having a big load of like, you know, having to buy the presents, having to buy the food, having to buy the treats. It was, it was a good do they still do that because i know that iceland's still open like do they still do the stamps or not they don't do the stamps anymore i think they do it like on a card do you know like a, i think you put it on a card or something now they don't well, do that's the good. so at least people like yourself could still like you know because like, you you see like two two pounds and then like by the end of the year you would have like quite a lot i used to try and I always aimed for like a hundred pounds. It was a hundred pounds in, in the actual 
it was like a little foldy thing, wasn't it? And it was a hundred yeah. pounds worth of you know that thing. I mean, that thing they, gave you like, they gave you like a th like freebies as well. Like there was like as soon as you got to a certain point, they gave you like a free one pound, and then another one yeah. they gave you a free one pound, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Um. Oh, there you go. So Roberta said that she basically works on 15 to 20 quilts at a time. Wow. So basically when she gets bored of one, she'll switch to another and she gets bored of another. But I have a problem. I think I've got like a little bit of OCD in me. So when I start something, I've got to like finish it and I can't kind of like leave it. And if I'm finding that I can't finish something, I, I'll find that I, I'm just bored of it and I just don't or like... You know, it's just I don't find it interesting or whatever, and I just want to quit on it, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What does Barbara do? Just said, Roberta, you were working on 15 to 20 quilts. <laughs> she <laughs> won't work on one at a time, and I work on one at a time. I'm with you, Barb. I am. So, what, what area is uh, Barbara in, in Canada? Did she say? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Where are you, Barb? What does the Barbara do? Does she, does she uh, does Barbara, do you uh, work on quilts or are you like, what do you work on? Clothing, quilts, craft, or a bit of everything? I do like the crafty things again all of a sudden. Yeah, I go, like, a little, little bit I, I, so often. I've done that because of you now, that, that's a, because I find it nice working with like material and, and the uh, is it felt? It's felt, isn't it? That Barb is in Calgary, so she's not too far from me. Oh, not that Just far. down the road. Yeah. Welcome, Barb. It's nice having you. So, how long have you been working on your carrot? Your carrot. I've just been doing the bits and bobs when I can, when I've come on. Did you show that last week on, on the show or was did you show that just to me? Do you know, I don't know if I showed it on the show. I think I, because I think I had the carrots cut out and everything, didn't I? Then I've just been doing like the bits and bobs. I've just done the hands. I've just done the hands <laughs> today and the, the letters today. Uh, so have you done that out of fabric or is that out of felt again? Is the, the actual cushion's going to be um, the um, fabric and it's felt again, yeah. Yeah. I find it easy to work with that felt. Well, like, well, felt's easier to work with because it doesn't fray. There's that and it's like I don't have to have any of that, um, that sticky stuff that you do, that you use. The heat and bonds. Um, yeah. I tell you what, I did do. Joe, you know, because when you cut these um uh, these things out and the cats, these things, yeah. which are cats, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put any heat and bond on the back of it. But a, a great um uh, little tip is, I actually used five oh five spray, which is um you can get it in the UK, I think, or you might be able to get some cheaper stuff. Um. <clears throat> This stuff. All right. Something so basically, fabric. it's like a glue for fabric, and you can just like spray it on, and then it just temporarily sticks down whatever you want to stick down. And then I was able to stick that cat down and then be able to go over the top and do the thread painting because. I have no idea how you managed to cut them things so tiny. How did you even cut the tail out? Those scissors that you, uh, you have, they were really tiny. I don't know how I did it. I like doing things like that. Once I started doing one, I thought, oh, I really like doing this. And I cut them, the, I don't know, whatever fabric that was, I cut it all out, didn't I? So Roberta says that she gets bored and she has to work on something different. <clears throat> um, I'm working on one for my mum for Christmas. So Barb, we want to know what, what the pattern is and we need to know the details. 
Um, so Barb just works on quilts. Um, yeah. She says, thanks, it's nice being here. Ah, oh. we like to keep each other company. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Um, Roberta, I am working on one, but to have the fabric and patterns for three more after this one, it gives me incentive to finish the one I'm actually working on, which is true, because I've still got a pattern and the actual fabric for a B one that I bought like ages ago, like years ago, I bought this pattern and it looks really good. Like, I don't know why I'm not even doing it. And it's paper pieced. So it's going to be like really nice and all like all the bees are paper piece and it's like a bee circle like there's bees in a circle it looks like it's just a wall hanging looks really kind of cool. Oh right. Oh, Bob, a five on five spray. Really? Have you tried your sewing stores? You should be able to get it at the sewing stores. I don't know what do they not sell it at Fabricland? 505. I mean, it's probably expensive from there, so I'd probably refrain from getting it from there. Um, well, you're at the dollar store, Cassie, anything like that? Um, no, I don't think for fabric spray. No, Michael's probably would sell it. But not a 505. They would probably sell a different one. Um, a different one. It's a Dresden plate. I don't know what that comment was for. I've got a Dresden thing. Was that, is that a Dresden thing that I've got over here? Used it once. This is worse than um, Roberta's um, Go Me or whichever happy quilt that she's got. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, this tree actually fell on the floor last week and I still haven't picked it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you like? Is this a Dresden thing? It's like a, you know, and you do loads of them and it goes around in a circle so you can do it like a tree skirt. Oh, right. A tree skirt. I made them wrong. Used it once. What have you used it on? Again. What have you used it on? I made a tree skirt. What do you mean with a tree skirt? To put around the Christmas tree. Oh, a tree skirt. <laughs> what did you think I said? Well, I thought it was just some, I don't know, some make. Do you I, thought you meant, I thought you meant a skirt for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mum. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think there's something else that I've, I've bought and I've never actually used. Um, where is it? Well, don't you use it as a ruler? No, it's like a certain, it goes a certain direction now. Uh, here you go. Something else I've bought that I've never used. Oh, that's, um, is that not for, uh, what do you call it? What do you call, what is it for, that? It's a slash and circle ruler. Is that for when you're doing um, quilting? I have no idea what it's for. I have no idea why I bought it. I think it was because I wanted to do circles. <laughs> And wavy lines. I'm not sure why I was doing circles, but I wanted to do circles for something, and then this is why I bought it. But I don't understand what this is actually for. So I should probably like go to YouTube and like search it. But if you see, it's dusty. Get it all over my nice clean carpet. Is it not for when you quilting? Is that not a quilting thing? Answers on the postcard. What is it for? <laughs> What's the squiggly line for? Um, the dressing plate is the pattern for my mum's quilt. Ah, oh. see, we're all doing stuff for our mums. Oh, and that nice. <laughs> it is nice. Um, 
I started working on one at a time. Then I got carried away and I had to get four projects done before I can start another. At least that's what I keep telling myself. I love her. She's so fun. <clears throat> So Barb says, start with stripes, four are sewn together and cut out using a Dresden ruler that's only about six inches. What's the name of the ruler? The ruler is called slash and circle ruler. So I have no idea. 0.7 centimetre seam allowance is included for circle cutting for a 5 centimetre to 23 centimetre and then for, for curve slash markings. I'm intrigued. Maybe I should, this can be my homework for next week. So figure out what this does and show you guys <laughs> how you can use this, this ruler that's been hidden away in on the top of a drawer like for eternity <laughs> oh my goodness maybe this could be the pointless things that cassie has purchased show <laughs> <laughs> so nobody else has to purchase any other pointless things that cassie's purchased <laughs> <laughs> your room looks quite tidy oh, it's 86 years old mom oh so this is pretty handy. My half square triangle ruler. But I don't need the half square triangle ruler because I have my Aki quilt. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty a cool ruler. This is the ruler that I use to make that quilt that's that's blue and white. And it's downstairs and I put the paw prints on it. And Earl and everybody sits on it in the summer on the um Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. This one was, this is actually quite a fun ruler to use for quilting. Really fun. Uh, these were the freebies that came from that magazine, from that tutorial I did on, like, triangle quilting, remember? Never used them again. <laughs> you didn't like them, did you? But, 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 but. So after I've cleaned my carpet, because, like, I, I yesterday like I ordered a carpet cleaner right so um like a vacuum a stand up vacuum and like it cleans your carpet and I've been doing that all morning so I've been moving everything out of the way so I'm like because I'm a good girl right <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cleaning my house I'm gonna <laughs> treat myself today to one, my a Vietnamese um, takeaway, Vietnamese takeaway I'm going to get later on. And then two, I'm going to go to the um, bookstore. I'm going to see if they have a copy of Quilting Arts magazine, which is like kind of like the same styles that I like to do. This like all this kind of stuff. So it's people who do like this kind of stuff. So it's oh. people that literally just do like art quilting and stuff like that. So like the painted and stuff like, yeah. So I think that's the realm I think I'm going down. I think I really enjoy doing that stuff. I just really enjoy it. It is, it's really cute though. I really love it. I love Just random tub here that I'm going through. Um, Barb just said, I found a YouTube, I found a YouTube on the sl slash and circle ruler. Okay, I'm gonna go to it. After this, I'll go to it and have a look what it does. I need to know what it does. Oh, so I thought um uh, she found it. Found the yeah, she found yeah, she found the video. This is another thing I just... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Done, has anybody done um, yo yo's? I want to know if anybody's done yo yo's. Look at the project, mum. 
Yes, lovely bag. <laughs> <laughs> My mum likes yo-yos, don't you, mum? I love them, yes. They're wonderful. Look, I've got a pom-pom makers. I've never come out of the bag. So I was going to say that. I've been, yeah, they're still brand new. Still brand new. They were they were in a clearance apparently, but never used. <laughs> well, I've got like there's one for tassels and one for pom poms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Hey, no judging, because I'm sure some people out there are doing the same thing as what I've done. I uh, know, yes. I used to do that. I stopped doing that now and now. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise that. So that, that ruler, that QCR ruler, where did it go? This is a really fun ruler, if you haven't got it. I really like it. And it actually does... Um, It does the um the think image of Eve. Junk Junkard's Path, that's what it's called. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I actually quite do you know. I might actually do something with this room again. Because this is what I did. So it kind of looks like that does that quilt. Like that oh, yeah, yeah. The blue and white one. Yeah. So I yeah. did that. But I might actually do. No, it does do. No, I did do it. Well, that's sort of. It does do a Dresden thing. Um, not a Dresden thing. Um, yeah, I would have done it. The John Cards path here. But I might just do it with like. Do a quilt with loads of dressed. Um, so I've got dressed on my mind now because someone said Dresden. I can't stop saying Dresden. <laughs> and I mean John Cards path. Um, there you go. There's another one for it. Okay, right. I don't know if I like these templates. They're kind of tricky. What do you mean? You can cut around, and you can't be like accurate. You've got a pen, and you've got to like draw all the way around all these pieces. Right. I've got you've got baby ones. See, I've got it all. Oh, <laughs> there's a centre part for the thing that I was looking through that I don't know what even this does either. All oh, right, sweet, sweet and sassy templates, apparently. Oh, it's a romibus, romibus. Actually, I think there's a smart quilt that I could do out of this as well. See, do you know what? I think I have a lot of things that I could actually be using, and I've not used them. Yeah, you make a nice, I thought that'd make a nice quilt, that one as well, that diamond. This one? Yeah. Because I think I did do a quilt out of this, but I garbaged it in the end because what happened was, is that um, I, when I cut all the pieces out and that, um, I didn't make sure that all of the pieces were cut the you know to the grain and I actually had them so they actually they end up stretching so when I piece them all together it all stretched because I actually oh. did it so when I like pressed out my things it actually you know stretched out so you've got to be really careful when you're making quilts and which way that you're aligning all these pieces up so they don't all push out yeah well you know a bit better now though don't you I do know so much yeah. better now Mm. So I think that's that's for the um that's for the thing. That's for these. That's for your yo-yos. No, it isn't. Um, that's something else. Oh. <laughs> This came through a magazine and the idea was great, but it actually doesn't stick very well. So basically this is for like sticking on your rulers so it doesn't, I know you're supposed to wet it for the suction and everything, but even still it doesn't stick. 
does he not? No. And there are better versions of this from like the fabric stores where you can actually get like a suction thing for your actual big guy ruler so you can like saying that, look at that now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stick on properly and then it sticks on properly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Look, look at these. Oh my goodness, look at these. This is another freebie from a quilt thing. Look how tiny they are. Oh, wow. Clamshells. This is for doing English paper piece, and I think. Oh, so tiny, aren't they? Because I think this part is to cut out the the fabric and then this part is probably what you use to make the crease with it better but I need to get better at that English paper piece and my technique is not quite there yet and I want to get that down pat do you know what? I don't even realize I got these again so do you know I need to clear out my room more often with you guys so it's is the center part for the, the the cardboard or whatever yeah, I think this is to cut the fabric. So you've got like a big part of the fabric and then this is all a quarter of an inch. And yeah. this must be for like putting inside of the fabric in order to crease. Yeah. So you fold it over and then I'm assuming you take it out and then fold the leftover remaining bit. So you don't have pieces of paper inside that you can't get out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who would do that. I don't neither. I haven't got a clue to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> oh dear. Um, oh, Bob says she wouldn't even try yo yo. So now I'm intrigued. Why wouldn't you try them? <laughs> because <laughs> they look bad or they're like, they're frustrating. <laughs> now I'm intrigued to know why you wouldn't try yo yo. I tell you, I've got loads of yo-yos, like just like in a box. I've never actually done anything with them. Like, <laughs> One, exactly. maybe, maybe I should do a project for my mum for Christmas and send it to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make my mum a yo-yo hat, and I'm gonna make her wear it on the show, <laughs> and say I'd be really upset if she doesn't wear a yo-yo hat. <laughs> For the birthday. <laughs> yeah, a bit like when I gave you the penguin and thing, the the um the plaster penguin when I was younger. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you a badge that says best mum in the world with like yo-yos <laughs> all around it, and I'm gonna be like insulted if you don't wear it every single time we do our live. <laughs> <laughs> Has Roberta made any yo-yos? Did she, Roberta, did she say you made yo I can't see Roberta making yo-yos. No, I can't really. I can't see her doing that. Um, you could use a cereal bowl for round for round rulers. I know you can. Oh, a plate. I use the block lock for the drunkard's path I'm working on. See, I do like the drunkard's path. I need to do something with one of them. Um, Bob says that she doesn't like the way that they look. <laughs> no, I agree with you. <coughs> I agree with you. A hundred percent. Mom, um, I love the colour of that. It is quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's like you, you can't really pick it up, it's actually like neon. Yeah, I can, yeah. Okay. Mm. Keep that out. There you go. Pointless things that Cassie's purchased. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done that. <clears throat> um. I've done it with clothing before now. So Bob says um, that she doesn't like the way they look. No, 
And then she would she'd like to see the yo-yo hats. <laughs> Stop encouraging her, will you? Stop <laughs> encouraging her. Stop. She'll be wearing it. Oh no, I won't. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna make one and wear it myself. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm going to make myself one and make you one. And we can both wear one. <laughs> it can be my party hat. <laughs> my party hat for my birthday. So, Roberta said, I started to try and make yo yo's. I got all the different sizes and shapes, had great ideas, and realised I didn't like to make them. <laughs> I'll be honest, it takes a long time. It's so <laughs> what? what? It takes a long time, but then you don't do anything with them. <laughs> no, I bet they're in the they're closet. Useless. They're useless things. <laughs> <laughs> they're hideous. Oh, Bob saying that I could make a yo-yo toque. Can you imagine? I think people think that I'm pretty special if I walked around with a yo-yo toque on my head. Could you imagine? What's a toque? A toque is basically like, um, so Canadians call a toque like a cold weather hat is a toque. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like a Russian kind of thing. No, just a regular, just like woolly, like hat thing okay do you know the ones with like the bubble, the bubble on top of that that's too funny <laughs> oh dear i'm thirsty today it's all that carpet cleaning i'm doing i know yeah so how, how many rooms have you done? I literally did the back room, the front bedroom, my sewing room, just three rooms. And like, every time I've gone over the carpet and I emptied the thing, it's come out like black. Yeah, I know it does. It's, it's that exaggerates, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, we've lived in this house for like <laughs> 10 years. So it's 10 years of like, what, dead skin, cat hair, cat, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's oh, gross. <laughs> <clears throat> we moved the bed out of the way. That was a fiasco. I know. Because, of course, we bought a bed that's got this great big massive wooden base, a like great big massive wooden headboard. <laughs> it's heavy, that bed. Did I when I was buying it? <laughs> so next time, get a bed that has wheels on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> when I moved the bed out of the way, because the cats like to lie under the bed, it was literally just like grey hair and like <laughs> so like vacuumed all underneath it then wet vacked everything mm -hmm. and it just smells just fresh and nice like the air just smells it's not mm. even just the air it's the feel of it it feels yeah. stuffy I can't explain it Start a trend by selling yo yo hats. <laughs> That's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> oh my word. <clears throat> Can you do matching handbags as well? We've got matching everything, ma matching gloves. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh. 
So yeah, I just want to get downstairs and get doing that rug as well. I have a rug, I swear. Like, so before I got the cats, like before I got, so like, before we got before we got the cats, I got a Berber like white cream carpets, basically. And I have a white rug downstairs in my living room. And but actually it was not well, just before I got the cats because I'm guilty because I think I dropped some coke on the rug and didn't clean it up properly. So there's a stain on the rug. So I'm hoping that it's gonna it's gonna clean up pretty well. Yeah, I hope so. Fingers crossed. Like you run over it with that thing and then like you can spot clean it and then you run over it again and it's it's getting out quite a lot of dirt. It's really quite it's quite a good machine. Yeah. <clears throat> Roberta says that she has a lot of templates that she can use for hats and handbags. <laughs> I've wondered about making a hat before. They can't be that difficult. It's like a circle, isn't it? And then there's a rim. And then I can't see them being that hard, making a hat. Well, did you not, were you not making something a while ago with the, like, with the base, like a baseball cap? No, I don't yeah. think so. I think I remember, like when you were over once. I think I was gonna, I was gonna, no, I was gonna try and make a summer hat. I think, not a baseball hat. Was it not? No. Oh, really? <clears throat> I think oh. I seem to remember that I wanted to make a summer hat. Do you know, like one of them floppy summer hat things? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so we're all guilty of buying stuff yeah and not using it why who else what? Bob's laughing at Roberta for like not using um, a patterns for her hats and her handbags <laughs> um, <clears throat> I bet she's guilty I'm making some handbags but I just find that there's so many pieces that I just can't be bothered sometimes to do it do you know what I mean well, you've made bags. You make bags. Well, there's then like th that one that we both made, that bag. So oh, I've God. made I made that bag twice. I've made like one in llama fabric and another one in like black. Do you get so many compliments on that llama bag? It's it's. I know. Insane. Yeah, I've I've made yeah I make bags, but I'm on about the more complex bags. That I've like, you remember that rucksack that we both got the pattern for and we still haven't been able to make. I remember like when this is when I first started. So I'm wondering if I could make that bag now. I bet I could make that rucksack now. The one that I've got. Yeah. I've still got it and it's still I've got it. It's have you still got all the pattern pieces cut out and still never done it. No, I've just I came across it the other day. See, this is something else to what we were just saying just now, that he's like, I've got something, I bought the material, it's all cut out, I brought it over to you thinking, oh, you might be able to sort it out. And we still couldn't sort it out because of a stupid pattern. And it's just like, um, and it's such a nice fabric as well. It's, and it's like, I need, I don't know. I keep thinking, oh... I need to get it sorted out. So that's why I was, I was talking to you the other day because I, I started watching a, um, a YouTube video on like somebody who was making a mini rucksack, like literally a mini thing. Like it was literally just for like um, like a key ring to put your coins in and stuff. And I was like, do you know what? If I tackle a mini version of it and then I'll know how to do the big one because the problem sometimes is that it was so much fabric that you're scared of wasting and stuff. So I think when I would probably make a mini version of it, because some of it I'll have to do by hand. Because like, the zipper part, I'll be able to run it through the machine. And them two mm -hmm. little strips, I can just run them through the machine. But some of them I will have to like hand sew because it would be too tiny in order to put it through my like sewing machine. Because yeah. I hate, like, if it's too small, I, I just don't want to run it through the machine. I'd rather just like hand sew it, I think. 
Um, but yeah, I need to, I, I'm going to do like a little mini rucksack. Now I'm yeah. building all these projects. See, I have like, I have about 50 projects in my head that I want to do. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Roberta actually works on them. I just store them up in my head and think about, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. I make a handbag out of jelly rolls. I think I still have some jelly roll pieces. Yeah, there's another YouTuber that makes um, bags up, and she is good. I do like her. She's called So Sweetness. Have you ever seen any of her videos? She's really good. No, I don't think so. I'll have to share. I bet she's done a rucksack because she um, kind of like does the YouTube um, videos and she sells the pan passes. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go on her website and see if she's done a rucksack. <clears throat> Sometimes I just need to see a certain element I'm struggling with on a project and then I'm like, okay, it clicks, now I know. Because I was watching one YouTuber making a rucksack and because um, sometimes you actually have to attach the lining to the outside where the zipper is, do you know, do you know and you have to hand sew it around where the zipper. But this YouTuber, she hid, she did the lining and you like, you know, do you know how I do my bags where you, you stuff the lining back in on itself? Yeah. She managed to do it where she stuffed the lining actually inside of the inside pocket of her rucksack. Oh. So it doesn't even go inside the external of the rucksack. It goes actually inside the external, internal pocket of the rucksack. And I thought that was pretty ingenious. Oh, it is that, isn't it? So let's have a look how she did it. But yeah, again, do you remember how we fixed your um lining? How we fixed your bag, your rucksack, <laughs> and we did the lining where it was like I said, don't cut it off where the zipper is. Cut it off like two inches down away from the zipper, and then you know we attached the lining in that way, and then we had a little opening and then stuffed it in. So that maybe I. Do you know what? I'm thinking of 10 different ways that I could do this now. Mm. This is why I like, once you start sewing and you've sewn for so many years, you start to understand the construction of items 10 yeah. times, not even 10 times, I want to say 100 times better. Because when I first started sewing, I was so frustrated because I would buy these patterns and like I would be trying to understand like how to do it. And I think on some patterns, they there's a certain expectation that you're supposed to know your stuff even before you bought the pattern almost don't they they expect yeah, you to know yeah. like what you're doing and it's like you no made, I don't know what you, made me do that. <laughs> you made me do that bloody bag on my own you after we, 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 i cut it out and then i thought well i've got no lining in this bag now <laughs> <laughs> I, I, am did I did i did it yeah and i did it with your help as well anyway because i and you know what right I'm I did, the the topic now. did the pockets and everything as well i'm so chuffed with that um what is she saying uh, <clears throat> Oh, which YouTuber? No, I was talking about so sweetness, what you were talking about before, Bob. I think. Oh no, I've moved on. I don't know what I was talking about. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> on a total different point. Um so our shower bust, yeah. So our shower shower completely bust. And um uh, so it like wasn't draining out any hot water and um neil was like um okay we're gonna have to fix it or whatever and we went onto youtube and i searched the actual um shower head part and stuff and found out that the cartridge needed replacing and stuff right so we watched a, watched a youtube video on how to fix this part and it was so funny because this like plumber was there like oh you get the flame <laughs> it was literally that with this flame like 
Oh my goodness. And this part doesn't come off. You're like to put heat on it. And it was literally just like, it was like going over. And he was like, I'm just be careful, like, not to set the inside of your drywall on fire. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so I found like the um, plumbing place up. We got the part, and literally, Neil. Uh, well, he tried to fix the old part in the end, and the old part didn't work, so it was done for, because these things are literally like, you know what it's like. It these things last. never last. <laughs> and we've had in the house for 10 years, let's be honest, the parts, parts on it are going to fail. And um, so we got the new cartridge, and, like, he fixed it. It's all done. It's all done. It's good to you, what I mean. It's good, isn't it, like, what you can I do. Said it, I said, do you feel good? Do you feel good that you fixed that? Do you feel like, are you happy that you did? He says, I feel bloody awesome. <laughs> it's this when I, when I do my, my, my stuff around the house and everything, it's like, I did that. It's like, I've, I've, I've tiled my chimney breast and I used an angle grinder. It's like, wow. I it went to the good. It is. I went to the shop the other, the other day and because um, you, can, you can add attachment to a, a sand, you can put a sander, a sander to the, you know, to attach it to the uh, angle grinder. And I said to the, this, this guy, he actually put the thing on for me the first off. And I says, you can, you, you can, you can have a blade, you know, um, um, a wood cutting blade, can't you? And he says, well, yeah, you can. He says, but I, he says, he said he wouldn't recommend it. I thought, what's he mean? Is he trying to say that I shouldn't really use it because I'm a, a woman or something? I think he can, because, you know, because he, he, he can put an attachment on to cut wood. So what's the difference between, like, a... So what are you going to do? You're going to cut your own little bits of wood for your fireplace? Is that where you're going with this? Well, I could do, yeah, because some, sometimes the logs, the logs I got for me log burner are a bit too big. So it's like, you know, it's like... A, using a hand saw it's just going to be impossible because they're thick you know they're quite thick still and that's what I mean they're a bit too big sometimes to go into the um the burner and I, I feel sometimes I'm wasting it you know what I mean it's I'm burning too much wood you know what I mean yeah and it's like it'd be good just to get the thingy and I thought oh what's the difference he said because, because they're serrated because they've got serrated edges it's like a bit more dangerous I thought well this blade is going through this stone and it's going like, God knows how many space to whatever. And he said, he's gone on about because it's got a serrated edge to it. I thought, well, he, they're there. He showed it me, you know what I mean? I thought, I, I just I didn't, couldn't understand what he was going on about. You go and get your blade, girl, and you go and cut your wood. <laughs> What's that thing that like, that wood cut chuck wood wood cut chuck or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard. I've seen. I've seen that. Of it, isn't that it? tongue-tied twister thing. Yeah. Um. Bob says YouTube is great for looking up videos that you need to fix something. I know because it's always my first port of call. Like if my husband is ever like wanting to fix something, but like. Have you YouTubed it first? Have you looked at like what's entailed first? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's brilliant though, isn't it? Do you know, sometimes the only problem with YouTube for stuff like that is that you do have to keep like trolling through and through and through and through because yeah. I find that some yeah. YouTubers yeah. like, okay, like don't judge this channel because I do waffle on on the Sunday show, right? I do talk like and talk and talk and talk, but on my tutorials, my defence, I will come on, tell you what to do, and go. I don't like go, hi, I'm Cassie, blah, blah, blah. Like, I've been doing this today, and I've been doing that today. Like, I don't do that. Like, on my tutorials, I'm like, this is what it is, and this is how you do it. Bye. <laughs> it was, it was like when I went on to YouTube to find out about how to tile, I've never done tent tiling before, and I never cut anything before, especially with something like... Um, with like an angle grinder and I wanted to see how it cut and everything and I really actually didn't get any sense out of any of that 
anything out of them at all. Nothing. So I just did it sort of like blindly, really. And I, I was, I was not so um, confident. I was, I could hold it like a small piece and cut it. You know, do you know just because it was a bit too, it was just a bit too tiny, uh, too big. And I could get all the down on ground and just cut it. But, you know. See, another YouTuber I think you would probably like, Mom, is Anna White, because she does a lot of, like, wood construction things where, like, and she does it all herself, eh? So she just, like, she makes headboards, she makes, like, kitchen things, like, cabinets, tables, like, all sorts. I think I need to see, <clears throat> like, a female, you know, with, with, like, these power tools, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, rather than the man, because they, 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 just, they just didn't. I just didn't get anything out of it at all. I'll, I'll send you the link to to her channel, like after the show, because I really think she's she's good. Like my friend watches a load of her stuff whenever like she wants to do like out. She does outdoor furniture, like all all sorts of stuff. I think she lives in Alaska or something like that, and they live somewhere oh, like right. in the middle of nowhere, and like they so, literally like just make everything themselves. So they have to, don't they? Really, basically. <clears throat> yeah. Does um <clears throat> does Bob and um. Um, <clears throat> oh God, really. Are you okay there? <laughs> do they do any uh, DIY stuff? I'm not sure. I think Roberta's kind of busy with her 20 quilts. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder if Roberta like, does any little bits and bobs, you know, like that around the house, any DIY stuff. <clears throat> oh, we're we'll talking about interfacing. Are you talking about interfacing for bags, you guys? I tell you, I like that soft and stable for bags. That spongy stuff. Do you remember when we made that bag, me and you? That's really good. That it is for bag. Keeps it like firm, doesn't it? It does, because generally I'll use like for the inside of a bag, like um that iron on kind of um it's like a foam like a foamy kind of like interfacing but the thing with it is that it doesn't have the stability in order to like well it does have this just the stability however when you when you like iron the the interfacing on to like a piece of cotton sometimes it has a tendency to like crinkle it and i don't like the crinkle the crinkly of it Roberta says she's not very good at DIYing. Oh, okay. I bet it's because she's never tried to. <laughs> it's scary though, isn't it? When you're like using these great big massive um Well tools. it is, yeah, but I I just you know, the first couple of times I had to put the um angle grinder on, it was scary and I was that you know <laughs> 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 I know. That's what I was doing. I was going, oh, God, you know. I was, I was really like bricking it because I kept, I was just thinking that this stuff was going to shatter. I thought, and you know, like because the angle granite lets out like um, sparks and everything. But because I don't, it wasn't doing too many sparks really. It was more dust than anything else. But it was just the fact. That I'm scared of the thing coming flying off. Why I don't know. I tell you, it reminds me of the advert, and there's a commercial in Canada, and it was it's called May Mayhem or something. It's about house insurance, and every time he comes out, it's, it's this guy, and he's he is literally mayhem. This guy, and in the summer, the the thing was is that he had this kind of like power tool, and he was going to cut this piece of wood, and he goes like this, and the thing just flies up and shoots through the window. And he's like. <laughs> It made me laugh every single time I saw it. It was hilarious because you can just imagine doing it. The oh <laughs> Berger says, "If I DIY, I usually make it worse." Ah. <laughs> See, so, and I do, I do want to do a bit more DIY. Well, you used that big massive thing in the garage, didn't you? I and did when I was making that little stool thing yeah. that 
the, the big sore thing that Neil's got. <laughs> and I was going to you. I can remember saying to you, oh, just put it on. Just get it on and just use it. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? <laughs> Would you and use it? You didn't use it. Why wouldn't you use it? It is a bloody monster thing, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. I'm the one person that hates the sight of blood. Like, really hates the sight of blood. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that bad once you use it. There's a certain way. Like, it's not that bad. This is what I'm saying. This is what, exactly what I'm saying. And I had the angle grind and it was like, oh my God. Because you put it on and it just went back. <laughs> it went back and, but I don't know afterwards. I just got that used to it. It just didn't, I just didn't take any notice of it anymore. I know, eh? <clears throat> yeah. Because it'd be kind of cool to make like a chair or something from scratch or. Oh. I keep looking at, in your room, the headboard. It'd be nice to make a headboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like them ones where they use twine as well. So, like, not twine, but, like, thick rope. And, like, they'll, like, put the rope around the, the headboard. That looks kind of cool. I'd have to show oh. a picture. Don't like they're talking about Amazon now. I'm like, don't you guys get me started? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think the, the vacuum came from? <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> oh, Amazon is killing me right now. Yeah, my wet back is amazing. I'm so happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> Because like it's literally just like a vacuum, like literally just like a vacuum, and like yeah. I just put like my cleaner in like the one thing, and then the the, the dirt comes into another tank, and it's literally it's one of them things like because I seem to remember George being a bit of a hassle to like you know get going, or oh, is he quite it, quick? No, he's he's okay. George is all right actually. It's just that like, it's um the actual thing because you've got to drag it. Where you, with yours, it's more like it's just like a Hoover, isn't it? Where well, it has the so it's a Hoover part, and it does have one of them attachment things where you can clean. That's why I bought this particular one because not all the cleaners had the separate attachment. Oh, so you can. Yeah. Like, I really want to get you know the stairs done properly because yeah, yeah, the only yeah. way I can do my stairs right now is literally get on my hands and knees with a, a cloth and just like wipe it down, like you and I yeah. both done like I literally I literally did it like I want to say three weeks ago and it's built up again with like cat hair and stuff so I, even just to get the thing on it and have a really good deep clean of that the, the stairs would be really good because yeah. I've done all the yeah. top stairs now all it is is just the stairs and then the two rugs downstairs and I'm done so I've pretty yeah. much done the whole house already you've been starting is hard you'd be asking next door and if they want to do because you want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Just going down the street. No, no, no. Would you like me to clean your carpet? Would you like me to get, like, I've got nothing better to do with my life, Mum. <laughs> don't, don't forget, right, after this, I'm having Vietnamese takeaway and I'm buying my magazine. Like, I've been a good girl and it's like, what time is it? We're on one o'clock right now, so we're going to wrap up because I need to get my carpets done and go and have some tweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, Barb just said she got a delivery a few, few minutes ago. So my mum turns around and says to me, that the only reason why I like ordering off Amazon is because I um, like to get boxes delivered to me all the time, apparently. <laughs> she thinks it's a birthday and Christmas all the time. It's like, what is this? I know. Who sent me that? <laughs> the doorbell's coming. Who is this? Who can that be? <laughs> so Who sent mattresses, Mum? Mattresses? Yeah. Well, are you going to get a new one? I don't know yet. They're quite expensive. Even though my back is doing my head in right now, oh, I'm sure that mattress Neil. has to go. That's Neil's then. Do you get Neil to get that? Get me a mattress. I want. I think I want a memory foam one. Do you, are you happy with your memory foam mattress? 
Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've, yeah, personally, I have been, yeah. Like, would you never go back to like a spring mattress ever again? Like, just at, like, you would only ever have memory for, like, because when you go, like, you stay over at work, so you must sleep on a spring mattress at your work. No, we just got a new one, and that's memory for, I think. Oh. It's got a new one. So do you find them much better? Because you said at first that they were too warm. Yeah, they are, they are, yeah, they do sort of like keep them nice and warm as well. Yeah, I don't know, I don't like to say that, yes, you know, get one because you might not even like it. Do you know what I mean? That is... But the problem with ordering one online, like, did you, were you able to try it out before you bought it? No, I don't think I did. Oh. I don't remember. I know when it came, I thought, well, what the hell is that? Because it was rolled up and it looked like nothing. Because they come in like, mattress is literally coming like just a box now. Yeah. <laughs> how is this, how is this even yeah. right? <laughs> I don't know what the hell's that. And uh, the, the chap said, no, oh, what you do is you have to open it out and it all springs up. And it did. It was weird. It was like a magic. Massive. So they must suck all the air out of it. Do you like them vacuum bags that you buy? They must do. I don't, they must do. Yeah, they must do. It's, it was really strange. Bob just said, so Bob just said, Bob's only Roberta, she's making me laugh. She says, I'm at an age where I don't remember what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> so every time she gets to it's like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she Hello. says, so the delivery is always a surprise. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. The one thing about Amazon right now that I'm not liking is like when I first started ordering off Amazon, they would like send me an email saying, hey, your delivery is going to be like in three hours. Um, or it will say like your number like 30 or 39 and like you'd be able like to come home and that, you know, in time for the delivery to happen. But just recently they haven't been giving me the notifications that it's coming. And like, you know, the other day it was supposed to come on like it was supposed to come on Friday, that went back, and it only came on Saturday. But they did send me an email saying, oopsie, deliveries are supposed to be like one day. And, you know, because yeah. you were there like, how can you get it? You just ordered that. I'm like, well, I'm on Prime. And I get one day delivery. And you were there <laughs> like, well. <"Bum." laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I do like, I do like Amazon. It's good. I do like it. Okay. Okay, mother dear. Okay, daughter dear. Daughter dear. <laughs> Say goodbye to the good people of the internet. Goodbye. Goodbye, Roberta and Bob. Thank you for joining us. You've got to say for mum. I, I managed to get you last week. I thought I'd cut you off, but you normally go goodbye from mum. <laughs> and goodbye from mum. There you go. Bye. And goodbye from mum. From mum. <laughs> <laughs>